Okay. Ben Simmons is about to dominate the NBA. Yeah, you heard me correctly. The number one draft pick of last year's draft is actually just under 7 feet tall. And according to many sources, the way that he's growing, he will be 7 feet tall heading into next season. Do you know how crazy that is? We might genuinely see a 7 foot tall point guard or point forward. That is just crazy. Now, I've already come out with a bold statement and I've made a video on explaining my reasons why I think Ben Simmons will be the next LeBron James. Let me be clear. If you watch the video, I state that I don't think Ben Simmons will be as good as LeBron James because, to be honest, I don't think many players ever will be as good as LeBron James. I think it's one of the hardest things to do as to be as good as LeBron James. Are you serious? To me, he's the second best player of all time. And he does have the chance to be the greatest player of all time. The way that he's going in, in his career. But that's for another story. In fact, that's going to be a, a future video. But I feel like if anyone would be as close to LeBron James in the NBA, it would be Ben Simmons. Well, that's what I thought. But now the dude is going to be about 7 feet tall heading into next season. Once again, that is absolutely insane. Anyway, let's get into the story. Ben Simmons was already going to be a very big NBA point guard. And yes, I say point guard. Not point forward, but point guard. Because that is actually where the 76ers were going to play him this season. Obviously, he got injured as well as Joel Embiid. They're going to have another draft pick this season. It might be even be Lonzo Ball or Markel Fultz, which is crazy. They're probably going to draft a point guard. So we'll probably see Ben Simmons play that point forward role. But just to think he's seven feet tall, like that is crazy. Is it not? Like, is it not crazy? You guys probably saw the thumbnail, which is the reason you clicked on the video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, please. It will mean the world to me. But seriously, uh, Ben Simmons... He's going to be, you know, uh, let's just think about this real quick. LeBron James, six foot eight, amazing athlete, point forward. He's a pretty great player. Magic Johnson, he was a point guard, six foot nine. He created mismatches all over the floor. Giannis, recent NBA player. I think he got drafted 2014, I believe. I don't know, but he's young. I know that. I know what, I know Giannis, he's a beast. He's going to be balling. He is balling this season, to be honest with you. He'll be an MVP candidate eventually. This dude is 6'11" running the floor like a point guard, playing defense like a big man. This dude, Giannis, is a beast. And then you got Ben Simmons. We haven't seen him in the NBA. We don't know what he'll be like. But in college, he was dominant. In high school, he was a beast. And heading into the NBA, you know, I guess the... What, what, what is it? The Summer League? We didn't really see Ben Simmons, obviously, this season. But in Summer League, he played all right. He was doing his thing. You could tell that he was passing the rock and playing as a facilitator for the 76ers. And he was doing that at 6 foot 10. But now the dude is 7 feet tall. 6'11", probably closer to uh, 7 foot than 6'11". But he's around that height. Reports have already said it and I'll get into that later on. But just to think of a 7 feet tall point guard running the floor. Can he run the floor now? Like can he run the same as he was when he was 6'10"? I don't know. It's going to be so interesting. He, he might break the NBA. He might dominate the NBA. Because think about the mismatches. Who's going to guard Ben Simmons? He's taller than Dwight Howard. Are you serious? <laughs> like, this is insane. This is something that we've never really seen before. I mean, we've seen Giannis. We've seen Magic Johnson. We've seen LeBron James. But we haven't seen this. I mean, maybe Giannis is the closest thing to Ben Simmons, but Giannis is 6'11 and skinny. I mean, not he, he was skinny. Uh, he's put on a little bit of weight, but he still runs the floor and he's still super athletic. Ben Simmons, though, he's a big man. He's like a LeBron James built type of player, and he's seven feet tall as well. So can he still facilitate like he does? I think he will be able to. Can he still run the floor like he does? I hope so, because, I mean, nobody's going to stop him. The, um, if, if this dude can, is 7 feet tall and he can get a jump shot in him, it is seriously over. Like, just imagine that. A 7 feet tall guy runs the floor, facilitates the ball, pairs up with Joel Embiid and maybe Lonzo Ball in this year's draft on Markel Fultz. You've got Dario Saric who can space the floor and hit threes, hit mid-range shots, can rebound as well. I mean, come on now. This is... This... This is going to break the NBA. This is Ben Simmons, he has a chance to dominate the NBA. He's got the passing skills of a point guard. And offensively, how is any other guard meant to guard him? Well, the answer is they won't. 
which will just create mismatches all over the floor, kind of like Giannis and the Bucks, which is working out pretty well in terms of Giannis' performance this season. Yet, according to reports, the Aussie, shout out to Ben Simmons, my Australian brother, <laughs> the Aussie number one draft pick is still growing and may even reach seven foot by the start of next season. He's 6'11 right now, closer to 7 feet tall, and according to many reports, he's going to be 7 feet tall next season. Paired up with Joel Embiid, man. I have to keep going on this. He's going to be paired up with Joel Embiid. The dude's 7 feet 2. Ben Simmons is going to be 7 feet tall. What is this NBA team? I don't even know. Trust the process. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Ben Simmons was obviously out for his entire rookie year, which means he's going to be eligible for Rookie of the Year next season. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does in Philly. Plus, they'll also have another draft pick this year. So they'll have, you know, two guys competing for Rookie of the Year, just like they had this year with Dario Saric and obviously Joel Embiid. And even Joel Embiid, he might also be eligible for Rookie of the Year next season. I don't know how many games he played. He might not be, actually. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look that one up after the end of this video. But he started... His, like, NBA career, I guess you could say, um, Ben Simmons I'm talking about, at 6'10", 208 centimeters. Now, a few days ago, the claim actually came out from World Be Free. Former 76ers player, if you guys don't know World Be Free, he was a great point guard back in the day. He was talking to a reporter, John Johnson, and he mentioned that during the 76ers broadcast of, uh, of the game against Cleveland uh, last week, that Ben Simmons grew another two inches since he's been with the team. Now that is crazy. He said, this is in his own words, I told him the other day, I said, Ben, you look like you've grown another two inches since you've been here. His arms are long, he's lean, he's in shape. When I watched him practice, just in practice, he's like a baby Magic Johnson. He's practiced with LeBron James. He's worked out with LeBron James. So LeBron's probably going to beat him up and make him strong. Johnson apparently followed up his claim with Simmons himself and predicted he could be above the magic mark of his rookie season take two, which means he's going to be seven feet tall heading into next season, running the play, running this whole entire 76ers system and running the floor like a point guard at seven feet tall. Can you like, he will dominate the NBA and I hope he does. Now, if you guys want to watch a full breakdown of why Ben Simmons might be the next LeBron James, I'll put the link in the description box down below. I'll put it on the screen. You guys can watch that video. Now, I made that video at the start of the season before Ben Simmons was actually injured. So, you know, there'll be things that you may think, oh, well, that's obviously false and oh, that's going to be different. But you have to realize I made it straight after the draft. I was so hyped. I mean... I'm Australian, Ben Simmons is Australian, I have to show love for my man Ben Simmons, but I mean, let me know what you think. Ben Simmons, he's about to be 7 feet tall, paired up with Joel Embiid, paired up with Dario Saric, and maybe the 76ers, depending on what they do this season, they could be a real, I, not a, obviously it's going to take a while for them to be a title contending team, right? But hopefully, by the end of next season, they'll be looking to head in a playoff direction, man. They'll be hoping... I mean, obviously, you want all these players, though, to be healthy. Ben Simmons, you want to be healthy. You want Joel Embiid, obviously. I think he's the main guy, because if you compare Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid and that one-two punch right there, you're going to be looking really good, especially if you're a Philadelphia fan. And I'm a Miami Heat fan, but I have I think if I had to choose a second team, it's got to be Philly, because just because of... Uh, ben Simmons. If Ben Simmons were on the Lakers, I'd probably have to say that the Lakers are my second team. Or if Ben Simmons went to the Timberwolves, the Timberwolves would probably have to be my second team, man, because I just love Ben Simmons. I'm excited to see what he's going to do in the league. And uh, as an Australian fan and just as an Australian dude, I want to see my man Ben Simmons go to work. Like, I don't know. I'll, I'll put a photo on the screen right now. This is when Ben Simmons was six foot ten, just entered the NBA. Look how much bigger he is than LeBron James. It doesn't seem like it, but he is. And when you when you like compare them side by side, Ben Simmons is honestly a beast. So let me know down below, what do you think? Will Ben Simmons dominate the NBA? Or will he be like a Lamar Odom type of player? If you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if we could aim for 3,000 likes because I've been talking to Agent Zero, call me Agent Zero, about how to, you know, um, get my channel up and running again with heaps and heaps of videos. And I found like a strategic type of way. So once I get rolling, the videos will not stop. And it's going to be very interesting to see what you guys think about that. If you guys are new around here and you want to watch more NBA videos, and more NBA content. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, if we can reach 4,000 likes, I'll upload my next NBA video. And I'm out. What do you guys think about Ben Simmons reaching seven feet tall? That's crazy. I'm out. Peace.